Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, introduction to object-oriented programming in Java. Right? See, so what are the object-oriented programming features? Features, we can call it as the principles. Right? So we can call it as OOPS concepts. So what are the OOPS principles? First one is encapsulation. Encapsulation. Second one, abstraction. Third one, inheritance. Fourth one, polymorphism. See, these are not specially designed for Java. Object-oriented programming features are global. Global to all object-oriented programming languages. All programming languages, like object-oriented programming languages, like C++, Java, Python, right dot net all these are following the same object oriented principles but if you want to learn object oriented programming two things you need to understand the first one is a class and second one is an object so first of all what is a class and what is an object right in a general terminology i will explain so what is a class and what is an object see if you want to construct a house, if you want to construct a house, that house is nothing but object. That house is nothing but, that house is visible and some memory is allocated, nothing but some space allocated and that, that house is constructed, is called object. But to construct that object, one plan is required, one plan. Right, how object would be after construction. How object would be after construction. There is a plan. The plan is nothing but class. Plan. Or we can say that blueprint. Blueprint of an object. So the class represents an object. Exactly how the object would be. So what is object represented by the class only? Sir, what class consists exactly? If you see some of the examples, then you will get more clarity on what is class exactly. Okay. In Java, every instruction you have to place inside the class only. Everything inside the class. See, the class consists two things. What are the two things? First one, variables. Second one, methods. We know already right what are variables and what are methods variable is used to variable is used to store information store information method is used to process the information process means what perform operations perform operations on information that is variable and method the two things you have to place inside the class. Let me explain one example. Every class has an identity, the class name. For example, I'm taking that class is an account. Account. So first one is variables. Variables means information of account. So what is that information of account? First one is a account number. Account number is one variable. Second one is account holder name. Third one is a balance. Fourth one is a pin number. Pin number. Next one is a address. All these are comes under variables. Variables always stores information. So, so what is the account information? If you ask anyone, simply they will tell account number, name, balance, pin number, and address. And we know, so what are the suitable data types whenever you are declaring a variable? See that account number is long integer, name is a string type, double maybe the decimal, so that uh, double type balance. Pin number, mostly the four digits pin we allow, so integer, and address a particular location, area, and all, so comes under string. And next one, methods. What are the methods? See, if you have an account, what are the operations you can perform on account? 
so tell me what are the account operations right with the draw operation we can do with the draw is a method deposit operation we can do deposit right money transfer mini statement mini statement pin change pin change all these operations we can perform so every class consists two things only right how many number of accounts for example right if it is a banking application if it is banking application in banking application in banking application so many account holders are present so many account holders but you will write only one account class that is representing n number of account holders this is first account holder with the different details right a second account holder different details third account holder different details third account holder different details so many account holders are there we allot number of account holders all these account holders all these account holders are called objects just memory we are allocating so that is how can you allocate memory and all later simply to say class consists variables and methods and class represents object once you design the class so that right you can design the object by allocating the memory so this is the main difference so let me explain one more example suppose if you are taking the class mobile and using the mobile what are the operations we can do and what is the information about the mobile suppose first of all that mobile mobile brand string type next one mobile color next one mobile price next specifications and all all these are comes under what variables and what are the methods using mobile what are the operations we can do you can store information right you can make a call you can send sms nothing but message to any other person you can play videos and you can play games and different operations we can do right so as a programmer before going to write any class you should understand right so what are comes under variables and what are comes under methods in the class this is the way so before going to start learning object orientation in any programming language you should be good at the class and object okay hope you understood remaining concepts we'll discuss in the next video thank you all